Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video of World of Warships Legends. And yeah, it's me, Tactician Gaming. Uh, today I've got a fun ship to bring to you. Uh, the Tier 5 Destroyer Ernest Gade of the German Kriegsmarine, or the Deutsche Marine, uh, however you want to put say it. Uh, but yeah, this is a fun destroyer. Uh, it's based on the early prototypes of the uh, Z-type destroyers, so... Uh, if you're used to the higher tier Z-23 and uh, Z-1, the Brecht Moss, uh, you'll get along just fine with uh, Gaed, uh, more akin to uh, Moss in terms of firepower and torpedo power, but with that, let's just get into it, go over stats quickly, 16,800 HP, fairly good for Australia this tier, uh, the guns after the upgrades 150 millimeters very very strong almost cruiser like uh, they are cruiser like guns uh, 7.5 second reload kinda eh, but they work well uh, good AP damage as expected as the German destroyers and fairly high HE damage so yeah you won't worry about that too much the torpedoes the same torpedoes you always see German torpedoes in general nothing too impressive uh, Good maneuverability, uh, 36 knots is nothing to sneeze at on a destroyer, especially at tier 5. Uh, great detectability uh, ratings, so you don't need to worry. 5.9 can get you caught in some situations, but it's nothing too much to worry about unless you are actively trying to uh, try out gun things, and with the smoke you shouldn't be trying to do that anyways. Uh, but yeah, let's just go over uh, Commander as well. Etic Bay, uh, to give you better destroyer concealment. I'm actually running... Uh, Jerry Switzel to get even better concealment because I prefer my concealment on my destroyers. I'm going to run Contact is Imminent, uh, Fast Torpedoes. You could put that out for Observant Range if you would like the uh, reload time on the main gun, which can be arguable, but I prefer what I have. Uh, look at me now, of course, kind of standard on destroyers, you get even less concealment. Uh, now, I can see people making an argument for back in stock, but uh, German destroyers can make great use of twist and track, especially because it gives you the display radar, which uh, it it's like a passive hydrophone basically, except it doesn't give you torpedo locations. It gives you uh, it pings a ship basically and tells you that it's about here and will point you to the direction. Uh, cloudy days, faster engine boost for less dis smoke. You could do the other way around and get the smoke, but it's all dependent. Uh, Leviathan for the HP because you kind of want it and you could pick up the speed uh, but the unstoppable is just kind of useless because you don't need to worry about your engine repair and yeah let's just get right into it so first off here we have Northern Waters which is an interesting map all together in Dom uh, in Domination uh, not my favorite map but it will work with Gade uh, Gade's got some pretty unique playstyles, and that's mainly because she's a German destroyer and I don't need to worry too much. I'm probably going to try to push B and then move to C and then see how that goes after. Uh, yeah, I know that's quite uh, funny the way that sounds, but that's the way I'm thinking I'm going to push this. Uh, we're looking out to see what the team does. Uh, what I'm liking right now is this season feels pretty balanced in, what, in terms of what it's giving you in return gonna request support. Uh, you can see what I'm talking about there, the uh, picking up. It's telling me they're all in the middle. Uh, you can more than likely take a guess by the center how this looks. Trying to get the new command wheel to work. Yeah, it can be a little buggy at times, but it works. It's telling me something's up to my uh, almost immediate front uh, I don't know what it is. I'm hoping it's their destroyer, honestly. Uh, destroyer or cruiser. Something with smokes uh, would be the best to deal with at this early point to get rid of it. And I'm just going to take here to cap B if I can. Uh, there's a lander. Uh, so there's something with smokes. That's not what uh, I got targeted. So, I mean, extra pick for the team, I guess. 
I'm gonna fire, and I'm not gonna shoot actually. I'm gonna save. Uh, pop the smoke. Uh, if anything wants to push in with me. Looks like a lot of my team is pushing over to C from the looks of it. I'm contested at B, which means there's something here. I wonder what is actually here. Hmm. But the fact I haven't spotted it. Oh, I haven't even. I haven't even popped my acoustic yet, hydro yet, so. Uh, let's. Hmm. Popping hydro would be a good idea, but it might also might waste it. Uh, just flying over there to see if anything. Get anything. No, I'm not going to, okay. That lander might still be over there. Uh, I have a sneaking suspicion the destroyer's here. And. There's radar, so something's got uh, me radared, and there's smoke. Uh, oh, there's the destroyer. Uh, I'm gonna tag him twice. I'm gonna get ready to pop hydro. Yeah, there we go. There's the hydro, and I want to keep sights on him. And something's at my front. I have no idea what it is. I'm too focused on this destroyer. I'm taking guess it's a cruiser. By the sounds of the main gun. Uh, whatever it is, the Dallas got it. Torpedoes. Pop the engine boost to make sure I don't go and hit those torpedoes. And I'm just getting slightly tapped by stuff around me, so yeah. Uh, yeah, it looks like a cruiser, quickly. Uh, the Bayern is going to fire at me. Luckily, slowed down enough for it to get right up my bow. The Icarus is running. And note it's a fairly low damage game so far. Uh, considering what apparently has been around me. I'm going to try to snipe this Icarus as best I can. Hopefully she just goes down, but I can't confirm that she will. Ugh, how are you not dead yet? One salvo should finish you off. If all, all my shells hit, please say they do. You have a pixel of health. Uh, ooh, you're gonna pop a smoke screen. So if I can get over there, I can take advantage of your smoke screen. Uh, I'm going to finish capping off B. Uh, make the safe play here. It seems like I was wrong where most of my team was going, though. Most of them are going to A. I'm want support with this California because I'm not going to be able to deal too much with it. But, well, I can deal with it. It would just, I need to get point blank. And the range we're at now means I'm kind of in a bad spot to try anything. I've capped B, which is nice. I see the California's reversing. I'm going to see if she'll continue reversing. Honestly, I think she might continue reversing. If she does, I'll have the torps ready by the time I close. Engine boost, deactivated. Engine boost is out. Got wait 2 minutes 30 seconds on that, so we're just going to try to play this as carefully as possible. Now here I should pre I want to hope she's going to continue backwards, but the fact is you can already see she's turning. So if I aim my uh, torpedoes further ahead, I would have caught her. But this is going to be eh. Only 7,000 damage so far, so not the best in terms of gameplay, but it kind of sucks because I don't want to go to A. I want to make sure I cap C. Uh, no, if you take a look at this, we've only lost a cruiser to all what they, uh, to the three cruisers in the destroyer they've lost. So me going after a battleship isn't the worst thing. Gonna fire HE. If I can just get a fire or something on the California, just a little bit of chip damage. All will work out well. Smoke screen set. Uh, there's one fire. California is going to instant put it out though. Hmm, I don't get why you'd honestly just instant put out a single fire. But I mean, you do you, I guess. 
fighters up in the air. The very little, few AA guns I have on the gate, try to put it out, which is cute. Uh, I should honestly have predicted this, these torpedoes better. Uh, I kind of went through and was like, oh, he's holding same course. And that will cause all of my torpedoes to whiff. Because I'm a dumbass and don't know how to properly predict torpedoes. I was trying to lay torpedoes in a screen, so we'll see two torpedoes overlap. I'm going to reverse. I don't have a smoke screen. I'm going to pop the hydro. Because if he is around that corner, I will spot him. I have a fairly decent hydro. There he is. Uh, pop the HE. Uh, reversing, lose a huge chunk of HP. And here's where maneuvering comes into play very, very heavily. Uh, there's all my torpedoes whiffing behind him. I'm going to pop the engine boost now to help uh, maneuvering. Because that maneuvering is going to hopefully save my life. Uh, there, right there, yeah. Maneuvering saves my ass. And I see the California's trying to get behind an island. I'm just gonna continue- I have to continue maneuvering. One shell will, uh, kill me, almost definitely. If not, I'll be like one tap to a secondary, so I have to be extraordinarily careful. And note it's just the California left for this enemy team. And yeah, ow, that hurt. <laughs> He's behind that small island. I have my torpedoes ready. I'm hoping he goes for the center island, so I'm going to fire both sets, one ahead, one slightly behind just in case he goes to reverse, which looks like he's trying to slow down. And, oh, that hurt. That's AP. Uh, what was I supposed to get at? Uh, okay, there's my last AA gun. I'm only at 2,000 HP. 2,900 actually, but eh. Asking for a little bit of support with the battleship. I've only farmed out 27,000 damage on him. Uh, and then I realized, oh, there's the torps. Uh, those look like they're going to hurt. Yeah. Uh, 60,000 damage, three floods, four torpedo hits. And I'm just going to start hoping to hit the farm with Ichi. And, ooh, one kill. I'm low. And, but that won't matter if he's gone to fires. And there he goes. 69,000 damage on Gade. And yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye now.